It was a little close for comfort, but the Irish get the job done, baby. 12-0, we are playoff bound. And there's not a damn thing this committee can do to keep us out. Because all season long, this Irish team has done everything that's been asked out of them. And while it's on the top of my mind, I wonder if Desmond Howard still thinks Michigan should jump us in the rankings. After that shellacking they took today. You know, you know, I got to tell you guys... People have come to my videos saying that my analysis suck, but yet Desmond Howard goes on this shtick, continues to go on this shtick that he's been, been going on for that past month. Oh, well, a one-loss Michigan team should, uh, should jump this Notre Dame team easily. Never mind the fact we beat them heads up, but apparently that doesn't seem to matter to him. And he, get, and he gets paid to say stupid shit. But yet, nope, I, I'm the one that... I'm the, the one who has the shitty analysis because I keep my videos simple, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Enough of that crap. 24 to 17, Notre Dame takes care of business at the Coliseum over the Trojans. I can't lie, guys. At the start of this game, I was a little bit scared. Um, you know, the Irish come out flat in this one. Just let they just let USC run all over all over them on that, that first drive, and I'm thinking, oh shit, we're in for a long day. But thankfully that didn't happen. This team makes the, the proper adjustments at halftime, and we hold on. And yes, I know my score prediction was a was turned out to be a bad one, but you know what? I don't care. Go ahead and give me all the shit you guys want to about that. That's fine. Um, but focusing on the good things first, Ian Book, solid performance. Not the best that he's had uh, in his time starting, but it was enough to get the job done. Two big touchdown passes. Dexter Williams, he was getting stopped there for a while, but he comes through with that big touchdown run, and that put us over the top. And then you have Tony Jones, even though he almost dropped the screen pass, he took it all away, and that sealed the deal for us. Defense stepped up big in that second half. So we just overall made the great adjustments at halftime, came through and got the job done. We're playoff bound. But I got, I got to be honest with you guys, and I'm not trying to be negative here, but a lot of things done tonight that I really do not understand. I mean, first off, from the start, we have our corners giving their receivers a six, seven-yard cushion. Why? <laughs> I don't get that. And also, another thing, I don't know how many of you guys noticed this, but and I didn't notice it at first either, but if you go back and watch this game, our defensive line is lining up at least a good yard off the ball. I don't understand that for a second. Offensive play calling, very shoddy at times. It seemed like Chip Long kept going with things that he knew weren't working, but he still went with them anyway. So this whole the whole game plan tonight, thankfully, like I said, this team made the second the, the second half adjustments that they needed to and didn't cost us, but I just I do not understand the, the game plan tonight one bit. Maybe they were going for a bend not a bend but don't break type of ordeal. But just there were so many times where we we were just we just looked so damn flat and, and I'm thinking like what did we all go out and experience the LA nightlife the night before? <laughs> I mean it just it just was not the Notre Dame team that I've been used to seeing all season long. And just very flat at times, and I, that kind of shocked me a little bit. And I'm not saying that USC doesn't have the talent, but at the same time, we were not playing as well as I thought we could have. Um, but again, guys, not trying to just focus on all the negatives and just be that you know that that Mister Negative type guy here. But this is not where things end. I mean, if we want to make make a splash here and try to win a national championship, then we can't play like we did tonight, because you know we were able. To, we thankfully we were able to get away with one one lousy first half, but come playoff time, regardless of who we're playing in the first round, Clemson, Alabama doesn't matter. We play like that, we're going to be in trouble, and we're not. Our playoff appearance is going to be short. So, and it just seemed like tonight, at least how, how I feel anyway, it, it almost looked like. We were abandoning everything that had been working for us all season long to try something different. Well, now's not the time to try different things. You you don't, first off, you never underestimate an opponent. 
And despite my score prediction, which I again I get was a lousy one, but you don't underestimate an opponent regardless. You come in every game, no matter who it is, and you punch them in the damn mouth. You don't you don't give them anything. Which really, honestly, we gave we gave USC ten points to start the game. But you you come into every game fired up and you punch your damn team your opponent in the mouth, especially when it's a rival. You give them nothing. Because hey, this is a team that's very dangerous. Not just because it's USC and they get talent all the time, but because they came in five and six tonight, and one, they're looking to spoil our season our chance at the playoffs, and two, they're playing for an all-important bowl bid. And, you know, we all know, regardless if the bowl's a crappy one or not, you get all that extra practice time. So that makes this team even more dangerous, and that it's, that's not a team to take lightly. A team that pretty much almost has nothing to lose, they're going to throw everything at you but the kitchen sink. Well, no, I take it back, including the kitchen sink at you. Just twist the words there. But... Going forward, come playoff time, if we play like that, we're in trouble. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we got the W. That's the most important thing. We're 12-0. We're playoff bound. But come playoff time, got to step up and just come with that hit your opponent in the mouth. Come in with that kind of mentality. But 12-0 regular season, guys. Always a great time to celebrate when the Irish win. Just clean up the mistakes. We'll be fine. Um, but, so yeah, guys. Um, obviously, there's going to be some uh, some time off for me. Next time I'll see you guys will probably be uh, probably be playoff time. Maybe I'll try to squeeze in a few videos here and there. I don't know. But um, it's been a great regular season uh, uh, previewing and doing post games for these games. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed them. Uh, gotten some joy out of them anyway, despite the uh, despite the lack of a professional analysis on my part. Um, but great regular season, twelve and zero. It's been it, this has been fun, just like it was back in two thousand twelve. But like I've said, I think this team is a lot better than that two thousand twelve team. So anyway, I'll try to figure out something to do in these next five weeks. Um, but of course, the main thing to focus on for this Irish football team is just rest up, get guys healthy, and be prepared for when the first round gets here. So, so yeah, until a, a video that I decide to do or come playoff time, I'll catch you guys later. And as always, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off. God bless, and go Irish, baby! 12-0 and, and playoff bound. I love it. Take care, guys.